All right, tubes. We've got truck stuff. I got, we have two fans. The other one's on the thing there. Um, we are putting in some cooling stuff because we want to be, we want to be cool. We're going to be cool about this. Oh, I'm not sure. I so I got a Durale kit here. It's got a nice uh, amp here. 25 continuous amps. Enough to run two fans. Mexican is having nightmares after seeing them style. Mm -hmm. We got a little probe. Um, the fans I ordered, I thought had the uh, little probe things. That was a different fan I was looking at. So we're gonna just rock with what we got here. So this should have should have an input for AC. A turn on an input for AC, if I remember correctly. So this is adjustable, you can adjust it. Um, uh, yeah, the range is 120 to 240. And um, I'm probably gonna adjust it to kick on around uh, 185 to 190. Um, just cause, give myself a little bit of room. I just play with it for a little bit and see, you know, what it takes to get it to run and keep it cool. Yeah, we needed it yesterday. So, so the probe, yeah, I say to put the probe basically straight across from your water inlet, inlet, which is this one right here. So we'll put it right out, right against the core. We'll see how this works. The last time we dried this, they actually, I found out the 4BT wasn't even getting anywhere near warm enough for that thing to come on. So we'll try it. This one is actually running warm now because there's a proper thermostat in it. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So AC override using the blue wire tap provided attach the green wire to the positive lead on the air conditioning compressor. So that's how you hook it up. But I already have a wire set up for the AC circuit. So when that comes on, it'll send a signal to this guy here. And we're just gonna re-tap into that. So blue wire tap, we're not using a wire tap. So the green wire here is our AC turn on. Oh really? How long is it long enough? Um, but well that wire that I have in there, which happens to be green, um, it's very long. I made it super long just in case. Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah, it is. That's why it's oh, zip yeah. tied together. If we if we pull it out of the zip tie, you could probably put it right here. And then let's see. Manual switch override, attach green wire to the manual switch. So you so you'd have a switch on that also, but I don't wanna I don't really wanna have two circuit two things because then it turns on the AC compressor and you're like, wait, wait, wait hang on. Then you could just put a diode in it and that would stop it from doing that. But um, I don't think we're gonna do a manual override. I'd maybe do a manual turn off. So in case you do any water crossings, you can turn them off. I don't know. So we have an AC override. That's cool. Um, let's. We have some install stuff here, but we're probably gonna use different things, possibly. Is there a bug connector in there? <clears throat> Yeah, there's there's butt connectors that I'm not using. I have nightmares for weeks. So here we have our controller. We got the uh, plug for the adjustment and the relay, which is pre schmooed So this guy, we're just gonna it only goes one way, so we're gonna stick her in there. Nice. This will get some small self tappers and screw it to the fender and get it to go. Or actually, I'll even probably just. Mount it over here. That'll be easier. I think we're out of those skinny ones. Well, we're gonna find something. I could even use the the bigger one. It would work. Any small screw would work. That's plastic that we're going into. So, actually, you know what? I'll just use the screws provided. Imagine that. <laughs> You're not just not using the hardware kit. Use the <laughs> Come comes with stuff tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here we have one big lead, which is going to feed both our fans. What's funny is the fans have these plugs on here, but then didn't come with connectors. Did there it? isn't the other end, so we'll, we're going to have to figure something out on that. I don't really want to just throw spades in there, and the connector kits that I have are too small. Oh, the waterproof ones? Yeah. The weather pack ones. Okay, so what I wanted to look at, so we have, obviously we have a ground, 
We got power. AC override. What what did it do? Let's look at the instructions again. What's that yellow wire for? Constant. Let's find out, tubes. Yellow wire. Oh, duh. Okay, so red wire goes to the battery. Okay. Let me guess yellow's getting this shit on. Alright, wait, hang on. Da, 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 da. So So green override circuit, black goes to ground, yellow is key on, and then red goes to, uh, it go to, um, wait, what? Oh yeah, red with 30 amp fuse goes directly to fan. And then this, You're like, where does this go? Okay, Tubes, I'm having a moment. I need to look at this. Okay, Tubes, I had a moment. I had to look at the diagram and kind of study it. So this is how they're working this. So you have your black, which goes to ground, okay? And then you have your yellow, which is your switched ignition, which arms the controller. And then green is your manual override or AC, or if you just have it on a switch, which just turns it right on. So now the big red wire actually goes to the negative fan wire connection, and then on the um, red connection of the fan, uh, or in this case, the blue, which is the power, goes out to um, the battery, which I gotta hook this gotta test hook wire up. <laughs> so after I do that, then he's gonna hook those the green and yellow to turn the whole thing on. Uh, and then we'll, just, we'll see if it works. Red and I can just touch them all at once. Yeah, well, here, you do that. I'll hold the fan. Right now, it should pull, I think. Okay, we're going power first. I'm gonna do, I'm arming. Prepare your, your fingers out of the way. Yep. Okay, we're arm tubes. Now I'm hitting green. Oh yeah, oh, it's moving so much air. It's pushing. Oh, that is pulling so much air, too. Okay, so we're disconnecting. Yeah! That's, that's a lot of air. Oh, fuck. You're blowing me away. I don't know. Okay, turn it off. This, this is getting scary. How much do you have? This one is 1740. And I'm going to have two of them, so I have almost 4,000 CFM of airflow. You don't turn it to the side if it's seen. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, so go ahead and unhook all that. <laughs> well, anyways, okay, so here's the setup. This one here I've got set up to draw air from the radiator, and that's going to go on the hot side of the radiator. The other one is set to, um, that, should be, that should be pushing. This yeah. one's pulling. So the other one's going to push air. And we're gonna put that in the front because my radiator is not wide enough for both of these. They're 16 inch fans. I th had a thing for the 16 inch fans, so you I got kinda, a whole lot of cool. I kind of ordered them, but I think we'll be able to make them both work. If not, we at least have this for the hot side, and that'll help cool things down. So, anyways, um, we're gonna try. I think we're gonna take the grill out. So I need to get a crosspoint screwdriver. Oh, you're actually putting the other fan on today. Yeah, I want to just have it done. You know, it'd be a lot brighter out if the freaking clouds weren't rolling through, and that fake-ass thunderstorm that it's isn't like happening. This, uh, this unfortunately, I just that was oh, that was this, in there. This grill needs to go. It's pretty well broken. I'm just gonna get a billet grill, and we'll take the Ford emblem, put that back on there. They don't look right when they don't have the emblem. Hey, fucking. Well, time, so we took one of these apart. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy's, Jimmy's winning the race. On him. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> oh look, this screw. This is. I broke that. Oh. You did. Snapped it clean off. Yeah. Oh, that's. 
and this is rattling out. Rattling out like a bag of buttholes. You don't even need to take that out. Oh, it's broken. I forgot. There's no tab here, huh? <laughs> We're gonna fix this truck right up. Look how, look how many bugs and stuff are behind it. Bugs buggy. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to drill some nice holes in here, right here, and fun, put the intercooler in there. It's gonna go right over here, put the billet grill in, and then boom, we got intercooler. I'm just gonna get one like this, just. <laughs> okay, so, this is, that was the camera just messing up, this is the one. <laughs> I am a big fan of this. Will it fit? That's a good question. I think you're going to have to put it on that side. Since your watch on it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit this in here, too. You know what? Let me take the bottom out. Yeah, I get the bottom uh, chrome trim out. Whatever somebody cooks, it smells something. I know, it's like. Oh, it's just some crappy ribs I'm growing. Well, I gotta take the lower valence off. Yeah, God, bitch. Can we? Uh huh. We can. Uh, I think we can. No. Okay, <laughs> Got you, bitch. There you Can go. we just just do that with it? Yeah. Why like. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you can even. Oh, oh, look at that. Fuck yeah. It ain't going nowhere now. You got it right there. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah! I don't know if those uh, things they gave you in that kit will do that. Can I turn that? Oh no, they will. Oh, there we go. There's one down. Cool, and that's right up against it. They're not going to rub and around. You got a nice hole right here. Yeah, here I think. To put the wire through. This will probably. It's probably. I'm going to have it come down and then run it up along here. Oh, okay. And then up and then in. I'm actually thinking, of, I'm going to try and do it where you can't even see the thing. Dude, we might be doing a bunch of cars with these kits. The 50 bucks for the, the kit. I'll post the link in the description for this, as well as the Durale um, controller. I'm actually kind of tempted to put that on my eight. Just buy the condenser and slap one of them on it. Yeah. Okay, we should be good to go. Contact. Corn tech. Corn tech. Look at that, you just stick that right in there. <laughs> Arm. Oh, dude, that's moving a lot of air just through all that. Oh, look. It sucked it in! This sucks! That's moving so much air! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so that one's pushing, and then the other one's gonna pull. Meanwhile, I'll stop and go traffic. Well, and they're gonna be they're gonna be overlapped, so that there's it's gonna be turbocharged. Turbo, never mind. <laughs> Adam's gonna hold the fan where I want to mount it. Right here. Uh, closest to the very edge of the radiator. Yeah, like right here. Up against the filter, like just keep moving right there. That's about where I'm putting that fan. Cause that's I gonna. See very well. There we go. Yeah, you're right there. So that's gonna draw right most there? of the hot air from that corner. Yeah, we're gonna do it right, right about there. The so yeah, that'll. Gonna go right here in the corner. Yep. So that fan will pull the hot air from that side, and then the other one will also cool the condenser off and the rest of the radiator. So that's how we're gonna do this. Now, yep. I don't know if these fans gonna work. Condense my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. These are gonna move. Probably four or five times more air than that mechanical yeah, fan did because it didn't have a, a shroud. Okay, so we're gonna pull the radiator back a little bit so we can get these behind that. And so we can do the ones on the inside because we want them attached by four of them because you know, uh, you know, guys know how the Cummins likes to shake some stuff up. Oh yeah, these haven't been off. Come on. Oh, and then I, you know what I can do? I can take this wire here and put that under it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It was not sick. So, the radiator. 
So you know about it's letting... A little, it's a little glued in there. Oh, yeah, it is. Should be able to move this back just enough. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's pretty much all we need there. Watch out, I'm not reaching for nothing silly there, but I'm just trying to get that. Oh. He's trying to touch me! Oh, my God! Put that back there where I'm going to regret it. That's just for now. Okay, so now... Zippity doo dog them. <laughs> well, I'll use I'll use two at least, I guess. Whoops, my bad. I don't really use the spring on the things though. So now you just reach your dirty dick right in there. This isn't full of cool or anything. This just self tucked itself right Yeah, it's great. Yeah, great. Alright, tubes, moment of truth. Hit it, Adam. Uh, okay, arms. Go. Oh, yeah. That one's oh, wait. Shirt off. We're going backwards on this one. We are. They're like, did I put the wrong one in? <laughs> reverse polarity. Hang on. I gotta wait till it to stop spinning because it's just me. Oh, let me guess. You put the you put the fan that's supposed to be in the front. Oops. You're like dinner. Well, all I gotta do is switch the blades. But they're take three. No, they're already you're already snooped. So we just reverse the polarity. Can, can we can, can we try that? You just reverse the polarity. So I thought I. Yeah, I guess I got a little. Ha, 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 I, oh no, I destroyed my truck. He got haphazardly over here and just started putting shit. Oh, he was just like, whoa. I was like, that's a lot of air coming for a vacuum. Like, oh. I was like, why is his shirt flapping? Yeah. <laughs> and this one's. This one's trying to. Go that way. Hang on, let me just make sure I got my wiring right here. So. So, okay, so controller goes to the negative. Yeah, it should be, it should be the controller goes to the negative. Yeah, which is the fly. fan. Right, goes to the So if negative. you flip those two around, it'll and then make it go the other way. Positive goes to that. And then um, this is going from controller to negative. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's try. Right. Well, I uh, try reversing the polarity. You can try it. So this one's, I think this one was trying to pull. And this one is pushing it this way. Okay, let's, let's try this. Let's see if this works. Caution. Caution. Oh, yeah, that did it. Okay, hit it again. Okay, there we go. All we had to do is reverse the polarity. <laughs> uh, my bad. I. You know, he was I, excited. I guess you don't really have to, you know, swap the things around. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, if you just like changing blades, to change blades. Let's go for it. I'm all about it. Yeah. That's gonna cool it off. I think it's a pretty cool thing that we did. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm a big fan of that. All right, uh, shoot. I guess I need to work on wiring and which I've had enough of, so he can have that. That's all. That's all me. That's all right. Right. He's had enough of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on now. And we got that on. Oh my God! What the fuck? Shit! Oh, looks like I let the factory smoke out. Damn it! Fuck! What the hell? Good morning, tubes. 
I'm going to update you guys on what I did last night. Uh, you know, I'm going to take you out the tripod. Okay, so I, <clears throat> a while ago, now the tripod's in my way. <sighs> Hang on, let me get some stuff out of the wiring bucket here. I, we occasionally buy stuff from Wish, and we bought these connectors that you put together. <clears throat> And they just happen to be the right size for this 14 gauge wire that I've been using and has come with my controller kit for this. Well, all of the wires have been 14 gauge. Um, and it works great for this. Look at that. I've never done this before. And uh, I wanted to put connectors on here. So this is kind of, you know, a hardwired harness that'll be tied in with like the controller and stuff. And there won't be another connection there except for. Uh, right here and yeah but anyways if I want to remove the fans I can now just unplug them so really nice having those connectors I'm gonna zip tie these somewhere so they're not flopping around too much and of course same thing here got another one right there and I've tested it out and it all works so we're a little short on wiring and stuff so we're kind of using what we have um, I'm using one of the wires the kit the controller came with it came with a loose red wire um, that wire is uh, tied into that fan there and then this other blue ones tied to this fan got real confusing last night I had to call it quits uh, but basically how I have it set up is um, you have doo -doo 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 -doo, and your controller kicks on power comes out of this and then depending on which way you want this to spin um, per the setup a push setup or well, actually a pull setup yeah pull setup this wire will connect to the negative on your fan and then the red or blue or whatever the output or what the positive would normally be on your fan comes back out right back to the battery and that's what I have these two leads for those are the battery out or two battery connections from the fans so I just have one coming from here one come from there and they just join here and then the other ends that get the um, signal from the, the power from the relay controller kit go here so I'm actually going to take this find the nice length of wire well I'm probably gonna come back around and trim it up a little bit so it's not so long and this is gonna get loomed up in electrical tape so it's not all scraggly um, but yeah it's gonna get soldered here and then from there we need to establish the ground which I'm actually I've got some ground chassis ground right here this is actually going to my alternator um, and then that's coming back to the battery from the starter so we're actually pretty well grounded so we got a ground there and then um, the key on I have this little wire here this actually comes from my alternator I'm actually gonna tap in right there and I need to redo that connection oh god I'm doing this so yeah this is coming from the trucks harness um, this would normally turn the uh, alternator on, which is actually what it's doing now. Um, so we'll use this to look at that yellow and yellow. We'll use this wire to turn on or to arm the controller. And I'll probably take this wire out and just run it right over here and keep it simple. Um, let's see, what was the other thing I wanted to mention? That's our uh, key on for this. And then. The yellow here, we'll shorten it down and it's actually going to come over to this wire here. This I added into my AC compressor harness. So when I turn the AC on, this wire will send power to this one. It will turn the relay on and both fans will come on when the, as long as the AC is running. <clears throat> So that's kind of how we're gonna have that set up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is the wire for the temperature probe. I've got this running. Just 
trying to hide this as much as possible so it's kind of buried down here. So this runs around the battery, over here, through the cross member, and then I'm sticking it through the front of the radiator because I had access back there because the grill's off. And it's right up against the tank here on the hottest part of the radiator, so where this, this water inlet is going in. So <clears throat> that should work. I mean, it's got full contact right up against metal. If it becomes an issue where it doesn't work exactly how it is. I mean, this thing's adjustable, so I can't adjust it. I can, you know, adjust it to turn on at a cooler temperature when really this is at the temperature that I want it to turn on. So we'll have to play around with it. I don't know what it's set to right now. So I guess we'll just have to play around with it once it's warmed up and at operating temperature. And of course, now that we're putting these fans in, what is it out here? It's cool, it's 65 degrees. I went ahead and just taped this up and warmed it up. Made it a little bit prettier. A little bit, not by much. Um, so this is, this is ready to plug in. Let me get that bracket, I'll be ordering that soon. Um, for right now, I'm gonna jump this just so I can test the AC circuit, yeah, even though I just wrapped it all up. And of course, it, when I wrapped it up, it pulled it in here, so now I have to make sure this is like that. I can actually undo my little thing there and move it over. Anyways, I'm gonna jump that with a little jumper wire. That way we can force the AC on, even though there's nothing here, and we're just gonna do key on, engine off. But, um, so yeah, this will be our, Actually, this is our key on, there, and then the green, which is hooked to the green wire that I now buried down there. That's the AC override. And we should be good to go. So let me jump that real quick, and then we'll do key on, and then we'll f we'll put it in AC mode and see if this works. Got a little jumper wire jabbed in there. Let's see if that works. Everything else is hooked up. I got my ground right here. I move this relay down. I'll probably screw it into here or something. Power to the fans is hooked up. Battery connection's hooked up. Let's uh oh, yeah. <laughs> I put in max AC. It's pulling. Pushing. And this is pushing, this is pulling. <laughs> well, that AC control is still working, so I put it in defrost in that last bit there, and it kicked them on as well. So that works on all functions, so cool when we get our... Um, AC compressor and hoses all put in there and charged up. This should be ready to go for air conditioning. And then the last bit, we'll be stuffing an intercooler in here somewhere. I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna finger away. I don't know. We'll figure out where to put an intercooler. I'm gonna wrap this video up. And yes, I know, crazy. Hang on, this is not working. So I know I got the uh, craziness going on here. I'm just doing something different, you know? Anyways, uh, truck has its cooling system hooked up. The only thing I don't know how it's gonna work, and maybe we can do another video and come back to it later, is adjusting the thermostat so that it comes on right as the engine starts to get a little toasty, which I would consider 195 to 200, a bit toasty. Um, so hopefully we can get it tuned up to where it comes on right around that temperature and then kicks off at about 180. So I'm going to have to look, kind of look in the instructions a little bit more and um, figure out how they would want you to set it up so that it works properly. So if this kit works out and holds out pretty good um, for a while, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a few months. Um, I probably I might end up doing that to the Lincoln. Um, getting rid of that mechanical fan and just putting uh, electric fans in there and uh, uh, using part of the car to control the controller that we'll put in there um, so anyways that's it for this video uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already 
And after you subscribe, hit that little bell. I think it's over here, over here. And uh, we'll catch you next time in the next video.